Hi, that Paul guy. Okay, so things are going pretty well at work overall. Uh, my project hasn't started yet, but um, I'm, I'm learning the, a new programming language and I think I'm doing pretty well at it. I'm getting a good grip on it and I'm pretty much ready to go whenever this project kicks off. But it got me thinking of, of uh, because I haven't really felt like I was giving anything back. I haven't really felt productive in it and it kind of got me thinking. And I started trying to think of why that was, that I, maybe I wasn't happy doing that, or was, wasn't happy just kind of uh, soaking up the hours type of thing, that I, I wasn't feeling like I was being productive. And, it, and it, made me, uh, it made me really, really think about what kind of a person I am, or what type of a person that uh, I see myself as, or, you know, not necessarily a computer programmer. Yes, I'm a computer programmer. I'm a software engineer. I went back to school for it. I've had years of, of management experience, and I, and so I've, I know that I can handle situations, and I can handle, um, I can, I can handle problem solving and things like that. But more importantly, I think I've grown to be able to really enjoy teaching. And right now, I don't feel like I'm giving anything back for that, and I don't feel like I'm, I'm doing anything like that. So. In a way, I guess this is what this is, uh, is me trying to give my effort to, to teach while I'm trying to learn something on the other end. And maybe I can share part of that, maybe I can't, maybe some of that comes across, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But it makes me really kind of just think and wonder and, and, and just uh, kind of uh, to myself in a way, but then I get to thinking all the people out there that, that might, this might reach who, who don't know what they are, don't know what they're cut out for, or don't know what it is that they really enjoy or they want to be doing. I mean, I, I've got some friends, um, you know, in various parts of the country, actually, I got uh, five or six of you guys that might be seeing this, that are real estate brokers, and you, you sell houses, and you sell, you, you put somebody in a home that they're going to, either for themselves or a family, where they're going to spend the next part of their life, and and they get to grow and live and love in that in that home, and so you're, it's not necessarily that you are the real estate agent, but you're somebody that, that enjoys giving or enjoys fulfilling somebody a function in somebody's life or a part of somebody's life, and I've got other friends that've got no idea what they want or what they're doing or, or just and they're happy with that and God bless them and maybe because that's what they're doing and that's what they want is just to be that way. Um, you know, some folks are, are just, they, they are born salespeople. They just enjoy, you know, they enjoy the hunt. They enjoy, you know, convincing or not necessarily convincing somebody, but maybe that is, but they enjoy, they enjoy the challenge of, of putting their product or themselves or proving themselves to somebody else and doing that. So, um, that's my challenge to you. That's my thought to you. That's my, my wonderment. That's my, I, I don't know what you might want to call it, but um, just you be you. Whatever it is, and this goes deeper than, you know, whether you, know, whether you want to be a blonde or a brunette or whether you, uh, whatever your sexual preference is or whether you decide that, you know, uh, whether you're going to do a Bruce Jenner, you know, Caitlyn Jenner thing or whatever. This is, this has, I mean, this is so much further than just... Um, choices or thoughts or, or compulsions or, or whatever, this is what is it that you want? What is it that you are? And uh, so I kind of challenge all of you guys to, to think about that and do that and kind of um, feel free to leave anything in the comments below if, if that's your life dream or, or you, whatever it might be, or you've always wanted to do this or you always thought you were this or whatever the deal is, feel free to share those. Uh, I, I'm kind of curious to know what, what other people are thinking out there because I, I kind of feel like maybe... I'm a, in a way, I, I teach, I like to teach, I enjoy teaching, and I enjoy helping other people um, get ahead and, and figure things out and all that stuff, and, and I don't feel like I'm quite doing that yet here, so, but I'm, I will, I'll get to that point where I'm being productive and giving back, but at this moment, I don't, I'm, it's, you know, it's got to be one of those things I look forward to, but it's not there yet, so. It kind of reminds me of a phrase in a movie that I saw once. It was the movie was The Fisher King, and it had I think it was Jeff Bridges and Robin Williams, and Robin Williams' character was a psychiatrist, um, and the other character, Jeff Bridges' character, had gone to light a cigarette, and, and and Robin Williams' character said started to say something about it, and Jeff's character says, "Well, I'm trying to quit," he, and Robin says, "That's bullshit. You're you're either a smoker or you're not a smoker. Figure out which one you are and be that." So that's my thing for you guys, is uh, figure out what you are and be that. Be you, be whatever you is, whatever you are, whatever 
whatever it is that, that's, I mean, just grips your heart and makes your passion, um, figure out what that is and do it. And it might not be the actual job that you have, but that job might be an aspect of what it is that you are. It might be part of who you are, and that's the reason why you like that job. Or you look back over your past several jobs that you've all in, you've enjoyed, and you realize they have one type of thing in common. They're all got something strung together that's in common, and that that maybe that is what you are. So that's my thought to you guys. And and like I said, I mean, leave leave any thoughts you got in the comments, and. Um, that's really all I got. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You're always welcome to subscribe. Can't promise I'm always going to hit you with some kind of deep, meaningful thought or whatever like today, but um, I just, it, it was something that was on my mind, and so I thought I would share. And I know it's a little bit long, and I apologize, but there it is, folks. So uh, that's all I got for right now. So until the next time, I'll see you later.